The story begins with Abraham. And people take it as a physical story. It's not a physical story. The drama is unfolding in man. So you come into this world and assume death. These bodies die. They seem so strong. And then they wax. But there comes that turning point and then they wane. And then they fade. And then they bend. Everything dies. We're told the stars are melting. So everything in this universe is dying. But there's something buried in it that cannot die. It is God. And when I read the Monday morning papers after the services on Sunday, I stand aghast at these men who are talking from pulpits and speaking of the story of Jesus Christ as some little secular history that took place 2,000 years ago has nothing to do with any man who walked the face of this earth 2,000 years ago. It is all about the eternal plan. And it's Christ in man, in humanity. But he comes one by one, he awakens in each. And together it forms the one man. And that one man is God. As Blake said it so beautifully, Thou art a man, God is no more. Thy own humanity learn to adore. If you humble yourself, you humble me. Because God is man. But actually became humanity. Every child, whether the child be a moron or not, became every child. And he tells us, it's only a little while that you suffer. But we, suffering, think it's so long. How long, O oh Lord, too long? How long? But then he promises us, when the chief shepherd is manifested, the chief shepherd, but who is the chief shepherd? Is he not God? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And when the chief shepherd is manifested, then you will see his glory. For the shepherd is God. 